the global need for oxygen has spiked far beyond the available supply at hospitals in many countries. Indonesia is no exception. The shortage has then brought forth Indonesia Pastibisa Safeguards Oxygen, a collaborative movement initiated by its ventures with the support for many partners providing end-to-end -end donation system from payment to distribution. It doesn't go solo as the Embassy of the Republic of Indonesia in Singapore, Indotech SG, Indonesian Professional Association Singapore, and Kawal COVID-19 do support the fundraising. Its ventures portfolio companies also unite and play their own roles. It started with Bonza, a big data analytics company that utilizes its data platform to map and predict oxygen demand across Indonesia. At the same time, Zendit a trusted and licensed fintech company as well as Coinworks, a pioneer of fintech lending in Indonesia, provide the fundraising platform. They also manage the fund received, then disperses it directly to order and procures the oxygen concentrators. After ordering the units, Ware6, a logistic tech startup, provides warehouses before finally sorting, dispatching, and distributing the units to hospitals across Indonesia. Meanwhile, Ware6 also compiles the digital tracking data and submits it to Advotix, a SaaS startup specializing in the supply chain before delivering the units. Advotix then creates a unique QR code for every oxygen concentrator. This aims to make it easier for us to track down the units in a more detailed way. All destination hospitals are coordinated with the Ministry of Health of Indonesia to ensure that all oxygen concentrators are donated to those that need the most. And from all those processes, IDN Media, a media platform company for millennials and Gen Z in Indonesia, is assigned to supervise every single progress and report it openly. The media also produces relevant content to create some background knowledge about the units and the movement. Indonesia Pastibisa Safeguards Oxygen aims to deliver 1,450 oxygen concentrators to hospitals all around the country. Delivering 1 up to 10 liters of oxygen per minute, the oxygen concentration will range from 87% up to 95.5% depending on the level of the flow range. The maximum outlet pressure is 70 kPa and the pressure relief mechanism operates at 250 kPa. With noise level that is less than or equal to 60 dB A. Back then, on 12 of July 2021, its ventures first initiated the fundraising. Then on 13th of July 2021, the first 200 oxygen concentrators arrived in Indonesia. We started to distribute the first batch of the oxygen concentrators to 33 hospitals in 10 provinces on 17th of July 2021. 21st of July 2021, Indonesia Pastibisa Safeguards Oxygen managed to raise over 1 million US dollar four days ahead of the schedule. One week later, 28th until 30th of July 2021, 500 oxygen concentrators arrived at Soekarno Hatta Airport, Tangerang, Indonesia. 2nd of August 2021, Indonesia Pastibisa Safeguards Oxygen closed its two week fundraising with a total donation of 1,213,354 US dollar from 790 individual and corporate donors. Meanwhile, as the distribution is still ongoing, we are proud of the capacity of our technology partners. Indonesia Pastibisa Donation Distribution Platform is also employed by the Ministry of Health to distribute COVID-19 relief grants for those in need. As of 1st September 2021, the fundraising has dispatched more than 7,900 oxygen concentrators and over 30,000 device accessories owned by the Ministry of Health. Indonesia Pastibisa Safeguards Oxygen is committed to a coordinated digital system-wide approach to humanitarian relief. Therefore, we've decided to go farther beyond by participating in a larger ongoing initiative called Oxygen for Indonesia, a bigger movement that aims to raise 10 million US dollars to procure more oxygen concentrators for Indonesia. Thank you for putting up energy and creativity to work and innovate in the best possible way to help those in need. We may be living in hardship, but together we gear up, step up, and scale up. Indonesia, pasti bisa.